a couple of days ago, I went to a supermarket in southern France and I found those Corno di Toro peppers, sweet and fruity, ideal for scrambled eggs basques. Hey, I am Bruno Albuz, welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. Piperada, piperada in Spanish, is a typical Basque dish made with onion, bell peppers, tomatoes, and flavored with espelette pepper. Let's get started. First, wash peppers and tomatoes and dry. Then remove the stem, split in half, and this is what you've got. So next step, you want to get rid of the white membranes and the seeds. By the way, let me show you this useful tip I like to apply whenever possible to remove the white membranes or pith. Flatten out and cut them off like so, making sure that the blade never faces your fingers. And now I'm going to slice them out. To save time, lay one pepper over another and let your knife do the job and set aside. Then I am going to core and chop the tomatoes. When it comes to cooking, Roma tomatoes are among the best. They are known for their low water content. Here I'm using tomato grape instead. I had them in the fridge. Next, onion. You know, one of the must-have ingredients that goes into the piperade is piment d'espelette, chili pepper. Espelette is a commune in the Pyrénées Atlantique department in southwestern France. All right, so I'm gonna crush some garlic cloves and start cooking the piperade. Heat up a large sautoir, add olive oil and butter and sweet peppers and onions first. Add a salt, ground black pepper, herbs and add a dash of white wine. Cover and cook for 20 minutes on medium heat. Add the tomatoes and cook for an additional 40 minutes. Then season with chili pepper. By the time it cooks slowly, I am going to take care of the prosciutto crisps. Arrange your thin slices of prosciutto on a parchment lined baking sheet and bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. Well, in France, there is no good meal without good bread. All right, so I'm going to serve this beautiful dish over a toasted pain de campagne. So I'm gonna do it using some duck fat, but you can use your bread toaster instead. And then I'm going to show you how to make the perfect scrambled eggs. So for two servings, you want to crack five to six pasture raised eggs. In the meantime, melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. Just melt it, do not cook. Now you want to combine the eggs with the melted butter and blend. Start cooking on medium high heat, then as soon as it begins to set, lower the heat if needed and stir that up every so often, making sure that it does not cook too fast. Take out the heat and get back to heat during cooking. Soon the mixture will begin to coagulate and thicken, yielding a soft, delicate and creamy texture. No meal no creme fraiche required. I hope guys you have enjoyed this amazing scrambled eggs basquez episode. To get the full recipe go to my website brunoalbouz.com. Please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Have a gorgeous day, bon appétit and see you very soon. I mean that will make your day.